Hello, welcome to your weekend tarot. I've been besieged. There are many cats. Say hello, Boogie. Hi. There are many cats in this room hiding in different places. They kind of broke in and I've been putting up with it, haven't I, Biggie? Biggie is just the softest and they don't know where Baron is. She's somewhere scuffling about. Thank God Diblos isn't here. Hey, hey, Biggie. Biggie can fall asleep literally anywhere. She'll probably fall asleep now. You're gorgeous, aren't you, sweetheart? Do you want to say hello? She's like, yes, go on then. She's actually going to fall asleep now, aren't you? She particularly likes it if you sing songs to her. Very partial to a bit of 1970s folk stuff, aren't you, honey? If I put you down there. Yeah. So, yeah, they're scuffling about everywhere, hoping to find food and not finding it, and then looking at me, staring at me reproachfully. Anyway, this is your weekend reading. I have no idea what the date is at all. God, is it that already? It's not quite what I thought it was. It's the 27th and the 28th of April. So it's the last weekend of April, isn't it? Last weekend of April, girls. Yes, spring. And I've got some shadow cards and I've got some mythic tarot as well. So we're going to have a look at that. I've also got Leia on the bed who is snoring. Can you hear that? I don't think you can hear that. It's a gorgeous sound. A little sort of meep, meep. We also have a man has just gone into the hotel. He's carrying a large drill. I know. I think we all know what that means. Anywho. Let me know how your week has been how you might be spending your weekend. Definitely spend it watching the May readings. They are out. Do support the channel by having a look at the reading for your individual sign. And also what's coming in for you in May as well. That is coming out either with this video or a few hours later, which would be better known as tonight. Oh girls. One more, I think. <laughs> That's Diablo who, oh, you, you. Those of you who've watched the May readings will know that that card made a bit of an appearance. Oh, I'll be there in a minute, little one. These cats are high maintenance. High maintenance floof. All right, Diablo, I'll be there in a mo. Okay, we've got some interesting cards here. Hello, we've got the two of wands. We've got the strength card. We've got the five of wands and Biggie, we've got the page of cups. But look, Biggie, can you see that card at the end? That is the seven of swords. That card is the kind of card you get when there's no cat food in the house and somebody has stolen it. I thought you all caught up with my microphone. Overall energy card, which has come up loads, is the death card. I know. Hoorah. Okay, so Scorpio energy. And for me, I don't know why but I've been feeling very much that the energy of 2023 is coming up in May. And we're in the last kind of weekend of April, thank God. I just couldn't come a moment too soon, to be honest with you. I feel like we're still sort of wrapping up and this Seven of Swords and that Scorpionic Death energy definitely has a kind of shadow that it's casting around everything. I'm going to take some shadow cards to go with. Three of Cups. Oof. Ooh, yeah. Let's go for the big guns shadow cards. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. These all came out, so I'm going to take... Oh, my God. God, that's such strong 
um, cards. Let's go like that. Right. Eight of Cups is a shadow card. You know you should walk away from something or someone, but you haven't yet, or you don't want to, or you're finding it difficult, or you're grappling with it, okay? Saturn in Pisces, which it is at the moment anyway. Saturn and Pisces, they're not like, they don't get on that well. Saturn is the taskmaster saying, you need to do this, you need to go, it's not good for you, health and safety. I've done a, an assessment and I can tell you, be on your way. And then you're like, yeah, but I really love this thing, this person, whatever it is. I don't know why it's in that voice, but it is. And you feel like you can't, and it's a bit of a battle, okay? We also have the Three of Swords with Judgment. Poof, that is a strong combination. There is something about abandonment, about an old experience, about an old wound, which is stopping you from doing what the right thing is for you at the moment, okay? And this happens to us as humans because memories are quite collapsible and sometimes, especially when Mercury's been retrograde, you can kind of collapse time and just be back there. And you don't even know why you feel so shaky about something or so miserable about something or why you're finding it difficult to do something. It's because there's more to it than just now. We've got the Emperor with the King of Wands, divine masculine energy. It feels like divine masculine is having trouble here and I'm glad we've got the Page of Cups because this feels like a softening influence. For God's sake, woman. But at the, with that Page of Cups, it can be an apology. It can be someone coming in with a message. It can be somebody approaching you, texting you, um, saying sorry or saying they want to see you or putting out an initial small thing. But you need to know with the Emperor and the King of Wands whether that energy has settled because the Seven of Swords is still there. Does this person still want something from you? Do they take more than they are giving? Can you afford to have that energy in your life? These are all decisions that are knocking around. And Strength card, of course, I love this for you. And it did come up as well in the What's Coming In For You in May reading. It was quite a main player. The Strength card is Know Yourself. You don't have to heal yourself. That's a bit of a big ask, especially in one weekend. But you can know yourself and you're very much more than halfway there. We've got judgment, the back to the future card. You're being pulled back, pulled back, pulled back. You don't know what belongs to then and what belongs to now. These days are not those days. You are not that same person. Then we get the three of cups not wanting to share, not wanting to connect, maybe wanting to spend time on your own to be very hermit-like. And the Ace of Pentacles, not wanting to make a new start because you want the old one to still work. And this can be magical thinking. It can be when you're on the edge of that Neptunian sort of wishing and hoping and praying rather than actively manifesting. Goodness me. Whew. Okay. Girls, we're going to have a butterfly oracle card, okay, Biggie? Yes. You probably are going to like butterflies, I imagine. Not for the same reasons as me. Cool. I don't know why I like that one as well. Ooh. Okay, mm, there's a lot going on here. A lot of this does link in a bit with the May reading, actually. Okay. First one is very ephemeral. So you get heavenly signs. So obviously be looking out for those, but don't be straining for them too hard. And don't be, that's what that is about. Don't be making every single thing you see into a heavenly sign. It's really got to illuminate, it's got to land with you. So you'll know when they're pure because you'll feel it rather than be conjuring it. Also, we get body changes. So this is about looking after our physical selves, looking after the temple that is the body 
and to go with that, self-care. Woof. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates and I'll see you soon. Namaste.